kind of awake, let's just still put them to sleep. So basically, this is what these camps were for. And the first one that he um, established was in Harlem, New York, and they were first called the Commandment Keepers. Whoa. Um, and, you know, like I said, they borrow from different, uh, you know, uh, different religions. And, you know, he basically just put this doctrine together with the elite. And, you know, they that's basically where religion, you know, kind of was founded and the origin of that. You know, so, I mean, basically, like I was saying, you know, it's a cult, it's a gang, you know, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and, you know, it was set up and orchestrated basically to recruit, you know, the... Black people that not, you know, don't really know. Or not exactly, really sure exactly. But they, they belong, exactly, but... don't know where they belong, and they know, but they know that they're lost. Yeah. Exactly. Same. And it was orchestrated, and it was set up, you know, um... And, you know, when in fact, you know, you have to, you have to keep growing, you know, and yeah. whenever you are awake, you have to keep right. growing. You have to, like you said, critical thinking. You have to always be thinking, you know, um, and this whole, you know, these camps, I mean, this isn't, this dynamic isn't set up to help you to do that. Is it, it isn't help you there to help you thrive. You know, it's not here, here to help you grow. Exactly. They sound kind of like the black. Panthers or something. Exactly. You know, like something similar to that, you know, and they, you know, really wasn't about peace, really. No, or, exactly. You know. Exactly. You know, you really have to do your research and you really have to look at things behind the scenes, you know, and like I said, this isn't set up for you to make it and this isn't set up for, you know, anybody else to grow or, or make it to our Heavenly Father truly either. You know, you have to have spiritual discernment you know and uh the people of these camps i mean you know they're not gonna they may not truly understand anything because you know they aren't in connection with the most high but you know in connection with man in connection with you know whoever is choosing their paths for them whoever is teaching them this doctrine and saying this is the way you know whatever leader they're listening to or man that's right you know yeah you know whatever man over the camp exactly now whoever put them in charge when when in fact i mean your your path was already laid out for you which is through our lord our lord and our savior (laughs) you know what i mean um so you don't have to join a camp to be truly connected to the most high and our Lord, you know, the church is within us. We are the church all already. Praise to the Most High, exactly. I praise to our Lord, His Son, our Savior. Exactly, and the Holy Spirit. Not save over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, so I just want to end this with, uh, you know, a couple verses that I hope uh, anyone listening, you know, thinks about and considers. Um, and uh, to start out. I want to start with Matthew 7.15. Uh, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Okay. Um, I mean, a lot of guys have left these Hebrew Israelite camps because they felt the doctrine was false. You know, and the the elders, leaders, whoever, were wolves in sheep's clothing. You know, and and you guys can look that up on YouTube. Uh, they definitely there's there's some people on there that saying that they, you know, just didn't feel right being in these camps. Exactly. I praise the Most High that was able to have that you know spiritual discernment. You know, to finally realize you know the type of wrongdoings that was going on within the camp. Yes, yeah. exactly, and that's what you have to do. I mean, if you're going to be awake, you have to be awake. And separate yourself from, you know, the wrong, the bad. Exactly, you know, and, you know, they even were saying that they, they felt wrong in the clothes that they were wearing, you know? Exactly, you know, like clothes are just materials, you know. It's not about clothes or anything, it's you not know? about like, your flesh. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, you know, like we came in naked. So Exactly. Exactly. Clothes don't have no bearing on your spirit or your soul. Exactly. When it comes to praising our father or you know, being about them. I mean, think about it. I don't know if you've got if you guys have watched any like end of the world type of movies 
But um, if you've watched any that have like a rapture in it, maybe uh, not not crediting the rapture, but I'm just saying um, the the message behind it was if he were to zap you up today, you're going without any clothes because I mean nine times out of ten, I think they left their clothes, right? Well, I think so. So I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But um, you know, but who who's who says that these clothes that um he these Hebrew you know Israelite camps people you know who who said that that's what you guys are supposed to be wearing you know uh Satan because I think that's who made the clothes. Exactly. So moving on, um, then we have um uh, Colossians three eight. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. And, uh, I mean, in all honesty, if you are saying that you are chosen and, and holy ones of the Most High, then I don't, I don't really think, you know, that you should still have filthy communication coming out of your mouth. I mean, do you agree? I, I definitely agree with you. You know, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess these can't skipped over this verse, you know, because um, also another reason, you know, that people left these camps is because, you know, elders, leaders, whatever, you know, of these groups were, you know, angry and, you know, used curse words to teach or get a point across. When that doesn't even make sense. I mean, we don't have to curse not one time on this podcast to get a point across. Not one time. I don't think I finally have to curse either. Exactly. Our Lord did not come down here cursing people out to, you know, do all that. If if somebody has to do that, I mean, then obviously they're instilling fear or something, you know, other than love and peace and what you should be instilling in somebody. Exactly. And another person. Yeah, some type. You know, direct uh, negativity. You know, like negativity. Exactly. Very, very negative. Exactly. Um. So then we have uh, two Peter two nineteen. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. So, you know, all I'm going to say here is, is this, this whole, these whole camps and, and, and Hebrew Israelite doctrine and things, you know, was, like I said, all set up, you know, and this verse is very self-explanatory. I mean, if you really look into these camps, you know, like I said, I mean, these things were, were very contrived and set up. And in this verse, I mean, our, the Most High says, while they promise them liberty, while they say that you're free, while they say that you're free now from oppressive things, from being cursed, detrimony 28, that y'all like to pull out so much. Okay, while they, while they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. So like I said, this verse is very self-explanatory. Exactly. Okay. Right. Um, and we have Galatians three twenty eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in our Lord. And I mean, <laughs> that is very self explanatory. For I mean, like I said, the doctrine of um. Hey, uh, white people can't inherit, you know, the kingdom of our Heavenly Father. They, their souls can't be saved, you know. Uh, oh, you need to, I don't know, I, I guess I guess white people are the enemy or something, you know. Not, instead of making peace, because like the verse said, you know, we are all one in our Lord. Exactly, just being a good person, period. You know, you're going to try to come with love with whomever, no matter the skin color. Exactly, exactly. Um, because, you know, uh, like this next verse says, Ephesians six twelve, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So, I mean, once again, very self-explanatory. Why are we against each other when we have uh, wickedness in high places that are sitting here attacking us right before our eyes? Why are the one that you're calling brother, the one that you're calling whatever, why are we, you know, exactly. not using our spiritual discernment, testing spirits like our Heavenly Father said, truly right. reading these scriptures for ourselves? Right. Exactly. Why are we not doing that? Instead, we're going against our own brethren because of his skin color. So... <laughs> You know, I just want to say, you know, but honestly, this this podcast is is out of all love. Like, exactly. it is love because the Most High, he when he corrects you, he says that is love. Exactly. So if you are in a camp, or you know, if this if this message reaches you, you know, or whatever, this is not judging. This is not you know anything on that level. This is correction at its finest from the Most High, which is love. And he's all, you know, he he's here for the time being, so. Exactly, and we just want his love to reach you. Exactly, we just want everyone to truly be with the right one. You know, we have been deceived for too long. You know, even if we just want to talk about just the 12 tribes of Israel, if we just want to talk about, you know, uh, the black people or whatever, I mean, we have been deceived for too long. We have been oppressed for too long. We have to stop you know, being, we have to stop conforming. We have to stop being what Satan is wanting us to be. Being this little puppets. And exactly. Little toys and, you know, it's like actors and, you know, playing out in this little play. In this play, exactly. So, um, Humble Redeem, I mean, do you have any, any thoughts on the subject? I appreciate everything. <laughs> I know this is, a deep subject and something definitely on the level but you know um I always always i'll praise to the most high um and our lord you shy and he's returning you know and he's wanting positive loving caring people you know and that were are like him Exactly, you know, people that were just like him. Exactly. You know, if you want the perfect, you know, idol, you know, it's that Lord. Exactly, you know, like I said before, we're chosen because we are, we are here to, like I said, walk in our Lord's footsteps, to listen to the Most High. This world right now is ending because of the, the Holy Ones, because of the Chosen Ones, because we were not listening to our heavenly father because we weren't we wasn't doing the you know uh obeying those 10 commandments because we wasn't out being the chosen ones and preaching the gospel to everybody so now here we are so exactly our lord is returning so instead of trying to just focus on the flesh when our Lord already done debunked that. He already done said whoever. Exactly. We are free from slavery. Our our, yeah. our Heavenly Father done saved us from Egypt. <laughs> Don't forget. Y'all like to study these scriptures so much. But I mean. <laughs> Where's the real knowledge? Where's the real action? Where's the real connection and tie to our Heavenly Father? Exactly. Instead of these men. You can't go on the street judging. You can't go on the street just telling somebody, "Oh, you're you're the real, you know, Hebrews. You're you're the real Israelites." Like, I mean, what is what is that? At this point, have y'all been looking at the world? Man, I definitely have, and it's not looking looking good. It's have y'all been looking at the world on any basis? Holding on by thread. Exactly. I think we need to be telling people our Lord is returning. Doesn't matter what skin color he is. 